Ah, there's a paper. What does it say? Ori Baragwanath Road temporarily closed. Sorry for the inconvenience. Good morning internet, it is 7 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Before I go to breakfast, I first want to show you something really cool. See these? You see those things hanging there? There, there, there? Those are bird nests. And I just saw like tiny little birds flying in and out. How cool is that, right? I've never seen birds nests like that. Oh, yeah, that was a bird. Great, I'm hearing so many different bird sounds that I don't recognize at all. Like that one. And I also wait, where am I going? And I also have two geckos in our room. So they're also making some really cute noises. Oh these are the the thingies. What do you call them? They are so cute, look. I asked the owners about these. And they keep them kind of like chickens, so they're not really wild and they're also not really tame, but they feed them and they just keep them. Oh wow, look at these. <laughs> That's just me being in South Africa for the first time. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at it. <laughs> oh, this is additional. Ah, okay. All right. Well, so look at this. I get to this morning surprise and then they also have a menu so this is going to be a very good breakfast i think just saying goodbye to the owners <laughs> great thank you so much it was really nice to meet you. I will. I will. Okay. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> See you. Bye. All right. And we're off. I didn't even tell you where I'm going today. I just realized now. I'm going to a place called Tazin. Tazin. It's in the mountains. I will try not to forget when I get there this afternoon that I will show you on the map where it is. But uh, here it is, Tzani, Tzanin. That's where I'm going. And it is uh, 320, no, 336 kilometers because I'm taking a route through the mountains, supposedly. So, let's see. Hi. Alrighty. Now in Grobers Dal. Grobers Dal. And it smells like burnt plastic here. Yeah, I spotted game. I spotted game. Here there's wildebeest. whole herd of them. Uh, it's probably a little bit far on the GoPro. But right there is a herd of wildebeest. So this is a game lodge and this is, I saw a sign, their breeding game. So everywhere you see the high fences, 
there's either game lodges or game breeders behind it. So yeah, here in South Africa, it's not allowed to ride through a national park on a motorcycle. So I will not come up and close with game here in South Africa. Um, but I can see them from the side of the road if they're like in uh, in a reserve like this or private game reserve or yeah, these breeding farms. I've heard every now and then an animal does jump the fence uh, and you can see them, but it's usually then in the nighttime and obviously I don't ride then. But yeah, even if it's from behind a fence, it's just really amazing to see game. And they're still looking at me. They're like, what is that? All right, let's continue. See if we can see some more. stunning here to be honest I did expect this to be a dirt road I don't know why I thought that <laughs> should have checked it on uh, Google Earth but it's all paved until now so I'm a little bit disappointed but okay it's still super beautiful here there are some uh, obstacles in the form of cows I've also come down again a little bit. I'm now riding at 730 meters elevation. And you can really notice it in the temperature, hey? Wow, just like 500 meters rising. Just, yeah, means maybe one, two degrees cooler. I don't know, it felt like more, actually. Baboon just crossed the road. It went so fast and my camera wasn't on. A massive baboon. Oh, there's a shop there. Let's see if I can get myself some water because I'm really thirsty. Hello. Hi. Um, you have some water. Oh, no water. It's finished. No water? No water. Then I have a Coca-Cola, small one. Question: Is there anywhere here a petrol station? What? Petrol. Petrol. petrol yeah. 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 How many kilometers? About. Ten kilometer. Ten kilometer. Yeah. Petrol station. Yeah. Oh, okay. How much is that? Eight. See ya. Bye. No water in the shop, so I got a small coke. But the woman gave me some other uh, valuable information. And that is at 10 kilometers from here, there's a petrol station just after a bridge. And that's good news because, well, my petrol is going really fast again, but it's still 100 kilometers to my destination. And on my map, I didn't see any petrol station anymore. So 
I really hope the lady is right because otherwise I do not think I will make it a hundred kilometers on just two bars I think <laughs> we'll find out I knew it was had to be dirt at some point. <laughs> okay, so I think the next 90 kilometers or so will be unpaved. Incredible how lush and green it is here, hey. A couple of weeks ago there was a cyclone that hit Mozambique and that caused a lot of rainfall in this part of South Africa. I believe this area is always really uh, green and there's a lot of water, but I think it's now even more so because of that cyclone. Okay guys, sorry to break up the lunch party. Sorry, sorry, oops, coming through, yeah. Well, I guess just after rains, this can be tricky, eh? Luckily, it is dry! Hi! <laughs> she blew me a kiss. Cleaning the bus, also important. This used to be a road at some point in the past. Looks like oh I think I'm supposed to maybe I have to go here. I think that's the track. I don't know why it's closed. Maybe here. Let me check my phone as well. Yeah, this is really the track, the road. But the fact that they put this up here, it usually means, I don't know, maybe somewhere there's been like a landslide or whatever. Ah, there's a paper. What does it say? Ori Baragwanat road temporarily closed. Sorry for the inconvenience. Well, I gotta turn around then. Now the real question is, how far do I have to backtrack or is there an alternative route? I think I'll have a small break here anyway. 
I haven't had a proper break since I started this morning. The owner of the lodge uh, where I stayed last night gave me this to take with me on the road. So nice. Uh, in Afrikaans it's called biscuit. They call it biscuit. Uh, bis yeah, biscuits. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, and it's homemade. So I think this is a great moment to have a real South African biscuit. Biscuit. Wind is nice. Mm. Okay, I got some bad news, unfortunately. This is literally the only road. Basically, that means I have to backtrack, but not just a little bit, but very far. Let's see if I can stay here. There is a lodge here. Dual bike adventure trips. Oh, I didn't even know that. I saw this place on iOverlander. Gerrit, hello. Hi, Gerrit. Uh, this is Noralie speaking. Hi, um, I'm standing in front of the gate. I was wondering if you have uh, accommodation. Uh, for when? For tonight? Yeah. No, sorry, we, we're we not available tonight. Ah, uh, okay. Is it for, for how many people? Just me and my bike. <laughs> you and your bike? Yeah. Uh, who was speaking to? Nora Lee. Nora Lee? Yeah. Are you trying to the gate at the moment? Sorry? Are you at our gate at the moment? Yes, yeah. <clears throat> okay, uh, just, give me, just give me three or four minutes. I'm going to phone you back on this number. Let me just check uh, if, we can, if we can help you tonight. Okay, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I don't know what they're called, but that's amazing. <gasps> and there's a baby. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah, it was a really long day. Where did you come yeah. from? Uh, from, um, yeah, somewhere along the R25. Okay. And then I wanted to ride through um, Lek Galamezi. Yeah, yeah. Galamezi. Yeah. And it was closed. Was it closed? Yeah. Ah. I came from the south side. Yeah. And then at some point it turns into dirt road. Yes. And then it was, uh, they closed it. The gate. No, they put like a... Oh, uh, there's something wrong maybe on, on the roads. Yeah, yeah. It, and there was a sign like there's, uh, it's, I don't know, maybe a landslide or so. I have no oh, idea. Oh, that could maybe be, that. yes. Yeah. That's probably... Yeah. But then I had to ride, so that was 84 kilometers yes. oh, still, but then I had to ride 200. Yes. Around. <laughs> yeah. oh. around, and I was already like, I was already, oh, I already shit. did like 200 by that point or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sure. So it was a really long day. <laughs> and where did you get us our number? Um, I saw you on iOverlander. Oh, okay, oh. yes. Oh, yes. iOverlander. Okay, yeah. okay. okay. Yeah. And well, from where are you? The Netherlands. Netherlands. Ah, Netherlands. Yeah. Okay. okay, great stuff. Netherlander. But you do, you do something with Adventure Biker. Yes, we, we've got the adventure riding here. Oh, and we yeah. cater for adventure bikers. Oh, yeah. 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 But let's get you sorted and then, then we can yeah. chat. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you, you... Would you like something to drink? Oh, yes, please. Let's yeah. go yeah. through. So, I found a place to stay tonight. 
And this is so cool. The owner is an adventure rider and he has all these adventure bikes and he does touring and he organizes trips and all of that. And he owns this place. Isn't this just amazing? I'm gonna show you where I am staying. You will not believe it. Look, this is where I'm staying. So tomorrow I'm going to edit videos. I'll be doing it here, I think, looking out over here. And there is a chance that I can see hippos because the hippos apparently sometimes come from down that way from the river. They come up here. I am shattered. I'm so tired. Oh man, it was a super long day. Um, but um, yeah, I just heard that the, the trail that I was attempting, it's a really difficult pass and it's difficult in normal conditions so yeah something must have happened probably landslide because yeah the rain has been really intense here the last few weeks so most likely there was a landslide somewhere and it was completely impossible to uh, to take the pass so before i forget to show you um so this is uh, in the last episode i went from johannesburg to somewhere here and today what i did i rode like this and then i went like this like this and then i try to cross straight through here to tsanin which is here so i started and then i had to turn around and i had to drive all the way around like this um, and then i went like this like this so that was the ride from today um i did enjoy it it was absolutely beautiful and uh, yeah, now I get to stay in this place, so I'm um, super happy with that. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.